Hello everybody, I'm Tactical Gaming and welcome to uh, That Dragon Cancer. Now this is a pretty sad game, so if you're not ready for emotional things to go down, might as well not watch this video and go ahead and, if you have, if you um, are emotional and you don't care, go grab yourself a pack of tissues because you're going to need it. I don't need it because I don't normally cry. I'm not cry, but not over like games or anything, or, sh or TV shows or movies, so it's going to be played from the view of a geese. No, I'm just kidding. I think you start off as a geese. Yeah, let me look around. God, this game's so interesting. Let's go swim to the. Oh, bread! It's bread. Looky, get it, geese. Get it. Pick it up. Chomp. Chomp it. Stop throwing bread, for crap's sake. Oh, don't touch the birds. No, 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 no. Don't touch the birds. No, they're gross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't touch the birds. No, no, no. They're gross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's so sad, because I know what this whole this whole game is about, because I did watch Markiplier's video. The reason I'm playing this in the YouTube Let's Play is because a while ago I made this video called Markiplier Tears Up That Dragon Cancer. And that was at the end of the video after he had finished the game completely. Hello. Oh, thanks for killing somebody. Mom, you threw the whole piece. <laughs> Isaac, you gotta give him little pieces. He doesn't understand. Here you go, Joe. Here's a piece. Okay, no, you throw it. You're almost five, right? Yeah. What? <laughs> but he, but he can't talk. That, that's kind of what kids are like. <laughs> yeah. Kids can talk. Yeah, no. Why can't Joel? Well, what? Joel got sick right after he turned one. Kind of slowed him down a little bit. <laughs> oh. He's just slower than most kids. I think eventually he'll catch up. The calm voices, man. They just kind of like calm your nerves. Like, well, he's getting really close. That's not normal of a geese to get like that close to you. He's a boy. Yep, he's a boy, baby. It's just about right. You know, there's lots of things Joel isn't good at, but there's some things he is good at. What is he good at? Yeah. Hey, he's not even eating your other bread. Don't you dare toss it at him. How do you make him laugh? Yeah. That's really funny when you fall down. Yeah. Eat the other piece of bread, you idiot. Stop eating water. Park at the edge of the river, I guess. I don't know. My face cam's in the way. I'm seeing the exact same thing you guys are. I promise you guys, I will not be doing any editing through this game. Any. And the warm, wet tongues and the cool fur dots. Maybe this week was a big section. And bye byes. And blown kisses. And more. Oh. I love cutscenes. Gives me a break from the game. It's full of this <sighs> So cute. Oh, here we go. Oh boy. So much for a break. Alright. Another cutscene. Is it time? No. Is this when you play as a bird? Maybe not. I feel like I'm about to start playing. Might as well get ready for it. Yep, here we go. Alright. Hey, where'd Daddy go? Daddy was just sitting on the bench. Where did where did he run off to? Is he off being a weirdo again? Daddy, we told you not to do weird things. Alright? We were tossing bread and it was all fun until you decided to ruin things. And then ask what Joel is good about. And who am I playing as exactly? The little boy? Uh, nice tree. Very nice. 
Oh, am I invisible? Because I was just standing right down there. Where am I? Maybe it's just my opinion, but I feel like these cutscenes are kind of uncalled for. Like, you don't really need them. Could you just put the voice acting lines in there without it? Like, and showed me, like, the little, you know, the text. Like, I didn't think you really needed to show me cutscene for that. But, alright. What is pain without a word for it? Hurt? What is hope without a word for it? I mean, you can have hope. God. What is joy? Well, joy just means you're happy. I mean, that's not even a word for it. It just means like you're having, I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe that for real. Without a word for it? Okay. Yeah, play your piano. This better not be copyrighted music or I'm gonna kill myself. Alright, cool. I guess cross the covered bridge. It's not a covered bridge. It's just a bridge. Alright, is that a playground? I'm sure you yeah, have that stupid little kid's over there. Hello, stupid little kid. I'm not gonna make fun of him because I already know what this sad story's about. Hello, daddy. What's going on? Hello. Hello, you little rascal. I don't really like you too much. Oh, nice face. Dang, you're a rock star, dude. Look at the way you go back and forth, man. I couldn't do that. All right. Why do they have so many kids? Holy crap, was there like five? Dang. Hello, what's your name? Who's that? I was telling Caleb they don't do really well. Yeah. He's been very peaceful all afternoon. Very peaceful. Is that Joel? Hello. Why does daddy keep disappearing? Alright. Alright, it's come to an end. Where's the kid? The kid disappear? Oh, there he is. Holy oh, crap. Scared me, kid. Okay, so I just smoothly stand up off of a moving obstacle. Yeah, sure. Like, that's possible. Hello, here's our seventh kid. Yeah, we had a joy ride giving birth to these mofos. What's going on, man? The weird cutscene. All right. Hello. Is this Joel? Run into me and see what happens. Run into me. You're coming awfully close there, buddy. Maybe knock you off that thing. And why is everyone wearing the same colored shirts? Do they not have a sense of fashion? Or do they just decide to make the same fashion statement? Oh, so that's Joel. Okay. So I'm just going to swing back and forth with him. I might do editing through this because the whole walking thing is kind of tedious. Who knows what I'm going to do. I didn't want to edit it since it's such a, like, a, a very story-based game. But there's like some things that are, like, that are like really tedious. Guess go over here to the highlighted thing. No idea what that is. So bubbles, soda, water... Oh, it's my phone. Hello. Hey, babe. Just got done at the doctor. Um, now they think that maybe he's throwing up all the time because he has acid reflux. So they gave me a medication, and we can give it to Joel. And they said we have to give it at least three full days. But that if he's still throwing up after that, then we can come back. And I mentioned the head tilt thing again, even though they keep saying it's not related. But you always have to mention that one weird outline thing. So I told them how his head was tilted to the right, but they still say that that's probably not related at all. So... I guess we'll just give this a try, and I don't know. I'll tell you more about it when we get home. All right then, sweetie. So apparently I'm playing the role of the dad. 
which is actually pretty interesting. And I was wondering why he kept disappearing, because it's because I'm playing as him. All right, then, just cross the bridge. Oh, wow. It's crazy, man. How'd this happen? This is really messed up. Don't tell me he's going to be gone. No, he's still there. God, just think about this happening to a kid. It would just suck. Look at those plants. They're glitching out and stuff. Okay, let's just get a shot of the trees, apparently. <laughs> Fear is cancer's preservative. Okay. Thanks. Cancer's embalming oil. Okay. And you, or accuser, are fear's oil sales. You're a snake. Okay, then. A snuffed out coal on his breath, molting, talons broken from the struggle to free yourself of your own skin. That dragon cancer. Yay! On hospital time. That's what it says. Oh boy. I'm sure this is gonna go great. You weren't there a second ago. Hey, do you wanna rock? Let's do it. God, this must suck to be the dad of this kid. Oh, it's from his perspective. Oh, wow. <clears throat> All right. Babe, I was just thinking, do you ever think maybe Joel can care better than he's supposed to be able to? Because I know, like, it's supposed to be moderate to severe hearing loss, but sometimes, like, today he hears music playing before I do. So... I saw him she sounds like she doesn't like she sure thinks that, that Joel is pretending to be don't. sick. Like if his hearing loss is that bad, I can't imagine. I don't know. I just wonder about it. Anyway, call me later. Bye. Okay then. You don't seem to. I don't think. I don't know what she's about. That's not good at all, is it? Red's never good. A button pressing. Pretty sure that's illegal in so many different ways, but we just did it to save our son. So let's do it. All right, now cutscene. Hello, kitty o. What's going on? Touch that tender head of yours. What the? You like balloons? There's glove balloons flying in the air. You want a glow balloon? They've got some glow balloons here. They're all above my head, apparently. Why? I have no idea. And they're all, like, flying by him. Why? Okay. This game's called That Dragon Cancer, not That Outer Space Dude. All right. Oh, wow, there's Joel. This game's like so sad. I'm not never in this whole video, in this whole um, video series of that dragon cancer. I bet you I won't even like cry once. If I cry once, then it's just really got me. So I'm guessing I have to dodge these. God, don't pop the balloons. No. Are those popping balloons or are they popping those black things? Because I don't know if popping those black things is a good thing. I'm pretty sure it's popping the balloons. That's not good. Alright, we got this. We got this. Oh, God. Oh, can't be popping balloons. Oh, crap. There's only two left. Joel. 
I popped off all, all, all those balloons. That's not good. God, that's a sad oh, song. Hey, um, I just wanted to take a shower. Is that okay? Are you okay with Joel? Okay, thanks. Oh, well, look at the time. Time's flying by. Where's Joel? Is he climbing on the ceiling? Oh, there he is. Is that a dog? God, I love dogs. I love dogs so much. If anything would make me sad, it'd be like seeing a dog die. Like, that would make me cry. If anything's gonna make me cry, that's gonna make me cry. I mean, seeing humans die, it happens all the time. And that sounds heartless and stuff, but humans die all the time, so it's nothing new. I know dogs die too, but it's even more sad whenever dogs die because they're like so nice to people all the time. Like all the time. And like dogs were built by God, like to be friends with people. That's why I think it's so sad whenever they die. God, that's how I'm making me sad right now. Anyway, let's get away from that. I have no idea what that says. End of treatment. All right, cool. That's a really good thing. Sucks that we had to get it in the first place. Wow, nice pictures. Are these actual pictures made from like the the parents of the actual kid? Because this is based on a true story. Colors of Valor. Wow. It's... Destin Kaput Kachup. I can't say say that. Uh, Starlight Hippo. Nice. Unusual Gravity by Hadriel. Uh, family in Color by Carolyn. Wow, so that's like the family right there. Oh, crap. Don't you dare pull my camera. No, 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 no. Thank you. I was starting to pull up my camera that I take thumbnails for. Or thumbnails with. Frick. Wow. There's, there's either mommy or grandma. It says untitled. There's another kid. Dad drawing. Let's talk to old wife -o. Hey. Hello. I'm picking up eggs again. A dozen eggs on the kitchen floor again. So we have to get a new lock for the fridge. Do you, oh, it's so, so hard to clean up eggs from the floor. Like they just spread around and they don't come clean no matter what you do. So I'm just so frustrated, but you should have seen them together. They were so proud of themselves. Joel and Elijah just sitting there with their eggs. That's kind Isaac of. Isaac said he thinks they want to be cookers. Cookers. All right. Talk to you soon. I mean, chefs? Bye. Cookers. <laughs> Cookers. Oh, wow. That's actually a pretty interesting looking picture. So sad that a kid would have to go through this, like, for real. Hey, honey, we're on our way home from the hospital now. I thought I was so in the hospital. If you wanted to preheat the oven starting in about 30 minutes, that would work, and we could throw in that lasagna. Um, do you know how they celebrate off treatment day, like when kids are done with their treatments? I. I guess maybe you don't because you're not in the clinic as much as I am, but on someone's last day, they always bring them a cake and they sing happy off therapy day to you. Anyway, that happened today. I mean, it happens a lot, but today I cried. I just wanted that day so bad, you know? I just like, we're not ever going to get that day. If he's better, we won't know that he's better. We don't get a day. Anyway, okay, call me if you can. Like, there's probably traffic, so I could talk on my way home. All right, bye. Okay, there's Joel right there. So I thought I was the one in the hospital. She seems like such a snob. I really don't like that lady. What? This is actually interesting. That's... Let's just go ahead and avoid the boulders in the middle of the road. God, I haven't played a racing game in so long. Let's go. Oh, those are chickens. Yeah, definitely not chickens. Moo. Wow, that didn't bust out the window? Beats me. <laughs> First place, who else is, like, racing? 
Are we trying to get those chickens through those tires? If that's what's trying to happen here, then I think we're going to fail so bad. Are those chicken chickens getting fatter? Are those like a bunch of delete, uh, diseases? Oh, that's like the stuff that kids have to go through with cancer. Oh, wow. Interesting. Did anyone ask the doctor? Okay, is it just the doctor on call or is this doctor? This better be that fake. That just That's bright. Is there a way we can talk to our doctor? Okay. It just seemed like yesterday. Why is there so many hospitals around here? Want to know what the plan is? Jesus. Hey, isn't it dangerous for him not to get it? I thought he needed that. I, I know you're just doing what you're saying, but can I, can I just talk to the doctor that we're God, why are there trees and hospitals everywhere? Also, what the actual heck happened to this hospital? Was there a hurricane that I missed while I was racing in a car? You can't just get all jazzy like that after being all depressing as heck. You just can't do that. Oh, frick. All right. Roar Over Me by Eric Holomun. Nice picture, actually. I like that. <clears throat> I would hang that up in my room. All right. That's one big elevator. <laughs> 